A Franklin man was remembered today for his service to our country. Robert Hyatt stands out not just for the number of years that he served. But he also stands out for the number of wars that he fought. As Eyewitness News reporter Mary Mills tells us today, many in Franklin came out to show their gratitude. A soldier, a veteran, a father, and a friend. In life, Robert L. Hyatt was all of these things and more. But above all, I will remember my friend as a hero. Robert Hyatt answered the call three times. He served in World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. A remarkable feat, something just a few Hoosiers have ever done. When a man devotes that much of his life to the freedom and democracy of our country, you've got you've to be able to show respect for that. And they did. More than 150 people came to Franklin Community Middle School to honor Robert, who died Christmas Eve at the age of 91. This man was willing to put his life on the line every day of service as he subjected himself to great danger. As an Army medic, Robert was wounded twice, saving the lives of other soldiers. And as a Marine in Vietnam... He successfully stopped a suicide bomber from detonating an explosive at the airfield. This saved the lives of many soldiers and many civilians. Helping people, that's why you become a medic. That's why you become a medic. He helped, he didn't care what their uniform was, he helped them. He loved to just help people. Those who came to pay tribute to Robert included not just family and friends, but complete strangers, grateful for his service and sacrifice. He accomplished quite a bit in valor, um, integrity, um, courage, bravery, all of those things he embodied. Before being laid to rest, Robert was given a military farewell, one fit for a hero. He was a man that loved his country, a man that loved his family, a man that loved his friends. He, uh, he loved everybody he ever met. I don't think he had a single enemy. We're also told that in 2015, when Robert was in Washington as part of the Indy Honor Flight, he was asked how many lives he saved. We're told he paused, got teary-eyed, and said, not enough. Scott and Ann.